After two devastating attacks on an Allied convoy bound for the USSR, U-606 is maneuvering into position for a third and final attack. As it stands, the boat is down to only six eels. This will be our final attack on the convoy before returning back home to Bergen. Let's make it count. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back to another exciting U-Boat video. U-606 is currently in hot pursuit of the same convoy we have been engaging the past few episodes. We are down to six torpedoes in the bow torpedo room, however, if we go here, we are currently in the process of making sure all these torpedoes are warmed up and ready to go. We have T-1 torpedoes and tubes 1 through 3, and then a T-2 torpedo and tube number 4. And let's go ahead and order them to warm up tube number four. I want to make sure all those torpedoes are ready to rock and roll when we finally get into position here. It is currently around 2100 hours and we are getting nice and close. So here is the large group of ships. I do have them going on a course of around 020 degrees give or take. And as you can see, we are well in front of their track. So we really just need to lay and wait for the enemy ships to roll right over us. If we go back here to the stern torpedo room, uh, we have no torpedoes back here anymore. We have expended all of these at this point. And uh, diesel fuel is actually okay. We're only down to 86% fuel, and we have plenty of food at this point. This has been a very action-packed patrol. We have sunk a lot, expended a lot of ordnance in a very short amount of time. Uh, deck gun ammunition, we're down to 32 rounds of high explosive deck gun ammo. So this will be plenty to finish off any crippled merchant ships after this uh, attack we are about to conduct. Also, if we go to our assigned orders, we were ordered to travel 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area. We are only about halfway done with this objective. So once I commence this attack, we're just going to patrol around a little bit with our last two torpedoes. We'll see what we can find, and I did not mean to do that. We'll see what we can find before uh, heading back to Bergen, but I do want to be sure this objective here is completed. Yeah, if we look here, we've only been at sea for five days, and we have made quite a mark out here. Anyway, we are going to maneuver into position. I'll keep you all updated. It is going to be a night attack, which definitely benefits us. We've entered the area here. It says inaccurate contact. Units may be anywhere in a radius of 12 kilometers. So we are going to drop our speed down and submerge the boat. Begin listening to this convoy using our hydrophones. And let's get you on the hydrophones while we are at it. Let's begin preheating all of our torpedoes one more time. Make sure those are ready for action. What is on? We have a little bit of water in the bilge. Just turn on the pump and get that water out before we commence our attack. Other than that, we are looking pretty good. Boat will slowly submerge here. Nice and easy. And hopefully we'll be able to make this attack and get away really undetected. That would be ideal. After our last attack, we were pursued for quite a while by the enemy destroyers. And uh, I would like to avoid that if at all possible. Okay, pumps on, water is out. Turn off the pump because that does make a lot of noise. Whoa, alarm. Okay, we picked up a merchant ship. Perfect. Very close to our position. And it looks like they are further west than I originally anticipated. Let's plot this course out, something like so. And we will adjust course ever so slightly. Reduce speed down to one third, please. And let's get rid of this, this map clutter there. All right. Make sure everyone is manning their station. Okay, let's get two of you to start preheating torpedoes. That seems like the, the fish are gonna fly rather quickly. And see that torpedo go back into the tube. Always cool to kind of watch the animations here. All right. No, you are not done. Get back here. You're going to warm up another fish. Okay. Give a little bit of time compression here. We have not picked up any enemy destroyers just yet, which is nice. And we should have one more torpedo to preheat. Okay. Well, that's because she is right there. 
Okay, so we have one destroyer in the lead, which is to be expected. Do we have a flanking destroyer out here? It's very possible. Let's go to our Hello. periscope. Take a look. Destroyer at 12 o'clock. And there she is. Let's go. Let's, let's get a good look at her. Oh, that is that is not a destroyer. That's the it's one of the freighters. Quite a few freighters in this convoy. There is the destroyer. Yeah, that looks uh, quite intimidating. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, folks. Rather avoid that altogether. Hmm. It's looking for possible targets. What is that? Is that another destroyer there? Kind of looks like it from here. Yeah, it looks like a Corvette. What else have we got? That's a destroyer as well. Let's lock onto this one. Get it on the map. Ooh, I do not like that. I do not like that positioning at all. Okay, we're going to change course a little bit. And we're going to try to thread the needle here and get inside the convoy. Because that seems like it would be our best bet here. If we can get inside and lob our torpedoes from in here, hopefully we can make our escape. But wow, it looks like there's quite a few escorts uh, surrounding this convoy. It's going to be quite difficult to escape. Well, we are getting rather close to these two enemy destroyers. We are going to dive the boat down to... Let's go down to 40 meters, please. Let's do that. And let's also get one of you, this, this fellow, on the dive planes as well. That should help us maintain depth a little better. And I don't want our conning tower to breach the surface when we are in the middle of the convoy. So it seems like a pretty good precaution to get him on there. Okay, we are going down nice and fast here. And we are really just going to turn off our gyro compass and rig for silent running here. How fast are we going? Well, let's go even slower, please. Down to slow speed. And we are just going to try to remain nice and quiet. Hopefully we can sneak right past this enemy destroyer and infiltrate the center of the convoy. Wow, look at all these, look at all these destroyers. I guess two destroyers and the rest are Corvettes, but that is still no, no laughing matter, really. I wonder if the escort screen has been beefed up after this convoy has been attacked so often. It's very possible. This destroyer's just hopefully gonna sail right on behind us we see it break, that's when we know uh, <laughs> we done goofed, essentially. Looks like this freighter is going to pass once. Once this destroyer is around here, we'll come up to periscope depth and make our solution and fire our eels off. Nice and quick. We already know the speed of this convoy is 7 knots. We've established that. And let's begin ascending. Up to PD, please. Okay. Our little silent run worked. Destroyer is just sailing on by. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, give a little bit of time compression. And we are at periscope depth. Awesome. Okay, let's take a look through the periscope. Let's establish our primary targets. We have four torpedoes. And, oh boy, do I even want to check? Do I want to check this? Ah, crap. Oh, tube two is not preheated. All right, we're going to warm that up real fast. Be quick. Dan. Hopefully, and be quiet, please. Okay, we have a target way out there. Oh boy, a little bit of lag. Okay, lock onto this target. I think Hello. we can fire a G7E torpedo at her. She's pretty far away. Um, let's figure out Empire Tower. That looks like it. 4,000 tonner, not too shabby. Let's establish her range. There we go, and set. Three kilometers. We'll just go with three kilometers. Speed is seven knots. Turn this on so it's actually tracking. Range three kilometers. Speed 30 knots. That is the speed of our G70 torpedoes. Angle on bow. She is pretty close to 90 degrees. I'm going to go with an 80 degree angle on bow for the time being. 30 knots. Okay. Everything here looks pretty good at this point. We are going to fire tube number four, because that is our G-70 torpedo. Let's close this out. Tube number four. Oh, man. Tube two is... Okay. 
Begin, begin preheating to two. Classic. Yeah. I got distracted by uh, trying to sneak past that destroyer. Anyway, we are going to use the data from the TDC and tube four looks. There it goes. All right, unlock and transition to our next target, which will be you nice and close. Be a little while before she is in a optimal position here. Okay, tube one is now preheated, perfect. So we can at least fire tubes one and three, which are ready to rock and roll. Let's identify this target. Let's see, what is she? Got a Empire Explorer. Yeah, mast, funnel, mast, and then it looks like a king post back there. Recognize that. Range to target is probably gonna be close to half of the other one. Yep, 1 1.5 is what we will go with. 1.5, angle on bow, pretty close to 90 as well. I'm gonna go with 80 degrees to starboard. There we go. And we are going to fire these torpedoes at 40 knots. Because they will be G7A torpedoes. Just doing a final check here. Following. Everything's looking good. How long do we have before tube 2 is preheated? Okay, it should be preheated any moment now. That torpedo's covered about half the distance there. And the music changed. Which I'm not a fan of. I can't tell if any alarms are going off out there. It, oh, yeah, there's a flare. Okay, you know what then? We are going to go ahead and fire then. Flood tubes, one and three. Speed, we're going to adjust it to 44 knots. Reduce our spread to 0.6 degrees. Set, all right, Los. fire. Get those eels out. Oh yeah, someone probably spotted my periscope. Probably this guy right behind me. Although none of them have their searchlights on or anything like that. But now it is time to make our escape. It's unfortunate that that happened. That would have been near perfect. Down to 150 meters. You know, it's very possible when I went to preheat that torpedo that our conning tower did breach the surface because uh, no one was on our dive planes. Uh, because I, I deemed the torpedo preheating to be slightly more important. Looks like these torpedoes are looking pretty good. These are going to hit the target first before uh, this other T2 torpedo. Let's go out here and take a look at her. All their alarms going off. Let's see if we can see the torpedoes in the water here. I cannot. Oh, wow. They just hit. One hit there. And did I... Is her bow gone? Oh, my gosh. Wow, that was extremely fast. Okay. And unexpected. One ship sunk. Have our other torpedo over here. I can't tell how it looks. It's actually very difficult to tell here. It looks like it may just miss a target. It's very possible she slowed down. Um, yeah, it's a miss. Oh, what a shame. Wow, and it looks like another torpedo missed. Well, this torpedo is continuing to run. It's very possible that one continued to run after this one just... I what the heck happened here? That thing went down so rapidly after one torpedo. Use a little bit of time compression here and try to... We're going to make our escape to the east, I think. Well, that was not the best attack, but we still sank one freighter. Oh, what a, sh what a shame about that other one, though. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. We still have another torpedo left as well, and so we have three fish to work with uh, on the remainder of our patrol. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Overall, still okay. Now our primary task is to get out of here alive. We're down at 150 meters. We're going to continue to crawl. I want to make sure everything's off. Rig for blue while we are at it. And let's try to get the heck out of here alive, huh? Well, we have this flower class Corvette, which is passing us. Also, this destroyer is actually a pretty big concern. Looks like she is racing right for our position. Oh boy, yeah, indeed she is. She is probably going to make an attack run here. 
I don't think we're being actively pinged just yet. Let's go deeper, down to 180 meters. Oh, actually, let's not push it too deep. But we're going to have to, yeah, let's start hauling ass. All ahead full, or flank. And hard to port. Yeah, colors right above us. Is she dropping depth charges? Maybe she'll, uh, who knows? Maybe she won't. Dangerous depth. Oh, look at that flare. That looks actually really cool. The lighting is just awesome in this game. Anyway. Doesn't look like she's dropping ash cans. Okay. Rudder amidships and slow down, slow down. Don't want to make a whole lot of noise then. It's like we are in our baffles though. Let's uh let's adjust course like so and northeast for the time being. And this is just going to be a process of rinsing and repeating, sprinting short distance when they're making their attack runs and going back and running silently. I don't think she dropped any depth charges though, so we're quite lucky there. I'm sure they're they're pretty angry at this point. I'm sure they've <laughs> they've had enough of our constant harassment, so I can, uh, I expect this to be a pretty hard fight that we have on our hands. Destroyer is swinging back around. Let's turn south now. And we'll see, it looks like this, oh boy, two Corvettes are coming this way. Rudder amid, yeah, let's keep heading this way. Okay, she's laying a pattern back here. Interesting. So they're not exactly sure where we are. That's really good news, actually. We are not going to accelerate or anything. Maybe once her depth charges go off, we can sprint a little bit. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Because when the water's all churned up from the explosion, it should give us some time to... Uh, move quickly and put more distance between us and our enemies just waiting for those to explode and they're they're falling deep look at that that corvette there it's firing flares oh there we go and depth charges are exploding Okay, we have a problem. This destroyer seems to be making an attack run on us. Let's increase speed. I'll head flank. Let's start moving. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how she picked us up. Oh, she is definitely tracking us, though. We're just going to keep running flank. We're going eight knots mighty quickly underwater. And we are going to just go in a straight line here. She's probably getting ready to drop her depth charges. Yeah, propeller noise is right above us. That's lovely. Keep going. And change course. Hard to starboard now. I'm pretty confident she's going to lay a pattern here. Yeah. No pattern yet? Okay, rudder amidships. Wow. I am shocked. Okay, slow back down. I'm shocked she didn't drop depth charges on us. Maybe this Corvette's going to come in and do that. Keep zooming in and out just to a quick idea of where we are. Yeah, there we are. Okay, yeah, this Corvette is now tracking us here. I'll start heading south. Okay, Corvette is dropping ash cans right there. It's interesting. Wow, look at that. What a pattern. They're pretty far away from us. Let's kick the speed up. All ahead, flank. I'll leave this view. Can we see those depth charges exploding? No, we can't. 
It's actually a really cool effect when they when they explode around you. But I'm glad I don't see it all that frequently. <laughs> uh, if we're being honest with ourselves. Yeah. Okay, it looks like she stopped rolling. Indeed, it looks like it. But that pattern is starting to explode. That was our chance to really sprint on out of here. Had flank speed. And turn on a southern course. Hopefully that'll be enough. Well, it's four past midnight and we have just come up to periscope depth. All the enemies are now gone. We are going to turn on our gyro compass, turn on our pump and prepare to surface the boat and uh, continue on our patrol. We do want to shoot off these radio messages uh, reporting that we sunk an enemy vessel, but we are going to wait a little bit longer. We don't want those messages to be intercepted. We go, go ahead and rig for red and surface the boat. Get the boat up and start pumping all this water out as well. Looks like we have quite a bit of water build up. Pumps on, perfect. Air reserves are dropping, of course, as we are blowing our ballast. Wechseln auf Diesel Motor. All right, and switching over to the diesels. Great. We're going to turn on our diesel compressor as well to replenish our compressed air. And let's check up on our torpedoes. We're probably going to need to load. Yeah, let's load these last T2 torpedoes and get on our way. Well, we just sent off the radio message here. Our patrol is completed. So we can return back to Bergen at any time. I'm gonna patrol around for a little bit longer just to see if there's anything else we can uh, fire these last three torpedoes on or even use our deck gun on. But uh, so far it's been really smooth sailing. No warships or ships have been spotted. We did find a contrail that was really far off in the distance and it didn't even turn to pursue us. So uh, it was really a non-issue. Anyway, we're going to continue to patrol for just a few more days before making the return trip back to home. Okay, we just received an incoming transmission from BDU. Let's go ahead and decode this bad boy and see what's going on. They may have a special mission for us, which would be interesting. Okay, let's see, new message. We have information that crucial technology has been loaded onto the freighter not even going to try to say that. It must be sunk at all costs. Its predicted location is at those coordinates there. It should mark it on our map. Oh my gosh, It's that's ha that has to be the same convoy we just attacked. Oh, they want us to go back in. Back into the belly of the beast. Okay, let's mark this position. Oh boy. Are they continuing to... They are continuing to head northeast. They are around 300 kilometers away. Okay, well, at least we have a use for our last three fish now. Let's head up there. Okay, we are awfully close to this convoy. We are going to submerge the boat now to periscope depth. And let's get you on the hydrophone now. Make sure everything is ready. And let's begin preheating our torpedoes as well. It's currently four o'clock in the morning. Unfortunately, we are ta attacking uh, as the sun is going to begin to rise. Which is less than ideal, really, but at least it'll make for some uh, cinematic shots. Silver lining, I suppose. Okay, then looking at all this, fuel's down to 60% now. They're currently 22 kilometers away, and we are going to just get rid of that so I don't see that little circle. But, and down we go. We can go ahead and go to normal lighting now. And perfect. Look at that. 
Okay, torpedoes are being preheated. What else do I need? Once these torpedoes are preheated, I'm going to get him on the depth keeping stations. It's significantly less uh, choppy current now than it was during our previous attack, so I'm not so worried about our conning tower peeking through the surface. However, we do want to turn off our gyro compass now. Let's uh, let's be nice and quiet. I did maneuver onto. Oh, we have another propeller noise here. I wonder if that's a friendly U-boat. It would be awesome to conduct a a wolf pack attack of sorts. Oh, it's running away. Oh man, that's unfortunate. But I did maneuver onto the port side of the convoy because I do remember that being slightly less escorted. Uh, by destroyers, anyway. Uh, the Corvettes were on the port side, and it seemed like there were two destroyers on the starboard side. Okay, new objective. Sink that ship. I'm just going to call it the Uni, because uh, I don't want to embarrass myself that much. I do that enough as it is. <laughs> okay. Closing in. Nice and easy. Have our scope up. We can reduce speed now down to... Just slow speed. We do not need to be going that quickly. We're really, we're in a great position. We just need to lay in wait. And let's begin. Oh, no, 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 no. You go back to doing whatever the heck you were. Okay, let's begin preheating. We go to the torpedo room. I'm sure they're all just, oh, they're all. Okay, well, we are going to preheat them once again, just so they're in tip top shape. And begin the time compression. Get back in there, pal. Make sure he preheats all of them. This uh, this propeller, I had, I you know, I have a gut feeling that this is another U-boat. I want it to be another U-boat, cause that'd be awesome. Okay, we've picked up the first freighter. We're a little closer than I would like because we do have those flanking warships. Keep using some time compression. Okay. Okay, this flower class Corvette is of concern, that's for sure. Hmm, can I see it through my periscope just yet? Let's zoom in here, swing our scope around. It's a bit foggy, it's a nice foggy morning. It was not like that when we submerged. Okay, I thought I saw something. I'm just seeing things. Okay, well, let's go, let's repeat our same strategy down to 30 meters, please. And you get on the depth keeping stations. Okay, and there's a destroyer. Perfect. Yeah, we definitely wanted to avoid that guy. We lost the lone propeller noise. Oh, there it is. Can be anywhere in the radius of 10 kilometers. Oh, he's running away. Oh, this is a different convoy. There's a tanker here. Okay, we're going to definitely try to torpedo that then. Are we being pinged? Is that what that was? Are you serious right now? I heard a ping. Doesn't look like these two are breaking or anything like that. What's our depth? Go down to 50. Okay, maybe this is another U-boat and they are pursuing that. I swear I heard a ping. Maybe I'm just hearing things at this point. This is very possible. Okay, I am not. Crap. Yeah, this Corvette is looking for us. Okay. Uh, let's uh, begin, begin running. We're just going to try to get away here and we will re-engage. Okay, go deep. 180, please. I'm surprised they picked me up. Dangerous depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's maintain 180 meters. Maybe this Corvette? Oh, she does see us. Ah, darn. Yeah, depth charges in the water. Okay, hard to starboard. We're going to have to try again here. 
This destroyer is going south, which is interesting. But this one, this Corvette is definitely rolling up charges, so. Let's just try to get it out of the way of those. I wonder which one, if we turn this on, will it tell us which ship we need to sink? It does not, it just tells us to convoy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, well we want to get out of the way of these these depth charges. All ahead flank. And it looks like the convoy is beginning to zigzag. Yeah, we're going to definitely disengage and try to try to re-engage here. I'll keep you all updated as we get depth charged here. Hopefully nothing serious happens, and hopefully we'll just be able to lurk away, kind of like we did uh, last time. Okay, that one tiny contact down here was indeed another U-boat. Now, it looks like it was getting depth charged by a Corvette. We just got damaged. What's going on? Take me to it. Stern torpedo tube is damaged. Okay, well, that's not good, but I don't really need that currently. We're not dropping too deep, are we? Okay, down at 180-ish meters. Okay, that should be fine. Depth charge is in the water. Okay, let's turn a little bit. Looks like he's dropping them in the wrong area here. Okay, well, we're going to continue our escape. This Corvette got a beat on us once again. It's been kind of harassing us. We'll see what we can do. Okay, this other U-boat is now in the area and we can actually take control of it and have it commence its attack with us. So we are going to have this U-boat break on over here. Yeah, it's something like this. I don't want you to get depth charge or anything like that. We do want him to survive. But we're going to have him loop around with us and we'll make our attacks from different sides of the convoy. That's the, that's the plan anyway. Looks like all the Corvettes and everything are starting to break off. So that is good as well. Okay, we just got a radio message from BDU. We will be coordinating a wolf pack attack on a convoy. All nearby U-boats are called to travel to meeting coordinates. Convoy is expected to arrive there 27 October at 046, direction from 230 degrees. Okay, let's see. Looks like we need to reach that area in 20 hours. Okay, this is where we are meeting, right along their path. Okay, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, we are going to move to that area now and meet with the rest of the U-boats and just tear this convoy to shreds. I can't wait. Well, it's October 26, 1942, and we have made it to the Wolfpack Rendezvous point, and we can currently wait. The convoy will be here in eight hours. I'm going to go ahead and preheat all of our torpedoes, and then we will skip time here. Here's our current position, and here's where the convoy currently is. Apparently, there's one to three other U-boats in the area, so this should be quite interesting for sure. We're going to preheat all of our torpedoes, skip time, and I'll get back to you guys whenever the convoy is nice and close to us. Well, we just skipped the eight hours here. It's currently 3.30 in the morning, and we are diving to periscope depth to commence our attack. Let's go ahead and get our hydrophone operator on station as our boat gently goes beneath the waves. We haven't spotted any of the other U-boats just yet. It is very possible they are submerged as well. There we go. Got our hydrophone man up. Perfect. And we can see the enemy convoy is closing in on our position. We're going to move up this way and try to get into an optimal firing position. And hopefully the other U-boats are currently doing the same. This should be very interesting. This is the first time I've actually had this event in game and we've just picked up the Corvette. Which is lovely. Let's turn off our gyro compass and turn off the pump. Do not want to be making a whole lot of racket here. Periscope is currently down and secured. I do not actually hear any of the other U-boats. There we go. Oh, here they are. Perfect. Here's one of them. We can actually plot their course, and we're going to have them move into the convoy here. Let's lower our periscope. I also want another engineer on the dive planes. Just want to stay nice and quiet. Drop down to 30 meters while we're at it. 
There we go. And we are going to have this U-boat move into position up there. Uh, we'll have him be a little bit more aggressive. Fire off his fish, and hopefully he can draw a lot of the escorts off, and we can move in and sink this ship we are tasked with sinking. That's the current plan, anyway. Captain. Let's increase speed just a little, just slightly here. As the Corvette passes us. Perfect, because we are still kind of far away. And we need to figure out which freighter is the one we're tasked with sinking. Okay, nice and easy. And it looks like that Corvette is actually accelerating. Slow down. Is he going for this U-boat? Has this U-boat been picked up? In that case... Target, target the Corvette then, if he's engaging you. And we are going to continue to move in here. Start going six knots. Try to get in nice and close past this Corvette. We have a tanker, a freighter. I'm guessing the freighter we need is going to be on this side of the convoy. Hopefully this U-boat actually launches some torpedoes here. Doesn't just get sunk. Looks like he's just going to get sunk. We're going to tell him to escape. Yeah, he's running away. Just fine, actually. Let's increase speed even more. It looks like all of the escorts are moving off to pursue that U-boat. Which is good for us. Let's go up to periscope depth, please. And we are now at 7 meters. Let's begin our attack. Get on the periscope, please. Don't wait around. Make it happen, Captain. Hopefully we can find the correct freighter. Up scope. Alright, at periscope depth. Perfect. Nice and early in the morning. Uh, there's a, a tracer that just flew right over. Perfect. Okay, up scope. Because we gotta look for the names on the ships to see the one we need to sink. This one is nameless. However, it's pretty large. If we don't sink the freighter we are tasked with sinking. Yeah, C3 cargo. Okay, this may be the one we just pump a fish into. We can always come back and get... Get the ship we are tasked with sinking. I do need to establish its speed, however. We're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Using uh, this. Start. Time it from bow to stern. That tanker there is also mighty tempting. But this cargo ship's nice and close. That's why I'm, I'm really just planning on engaging it now. While that other U-boat draws all the heat. She is pretty far out there compared to... Uh, what we've been engaging at, the distances anyway. We also have that uh, that other Corvette off to like 090 relative that we need to worry about. Hopefully she doesn't pick us up. Okay, and stop, set, seven knots. Okay, that sounds good. Speed, seven knots, make sure we are tracking. There we go, angle on bow, 85 degrees to port. Seven knots, make sure that's good. Speed, we will launch our G7A torpedo at this one, so we're going to set our speed to 44 knots there. Bow torpedo, looking good, looking good. Something like that. Hopefully they are not engaging us. Indeed, they are not. Hey, this is actually the freighter we are supposed to sink. Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, unlock target. Oh. Unlock. Lock onto the freighter here. A tanker. I really don't care exactly what she is. Let's ID her real fast, though. Um. Got, got the stack in the stern. The Dale class. Oh, one class, probably. Range. Set. 300 meters. Okay. 
we're going to set that range 300 meters angle on bow is a little extreme we are going to fire a torpedo at her and it's going to be the g7a torpedo bring this up g7a just tube number two flooded speed 30 knots okay use that use the tdc info fire okay unlock and lock onto lock onto the c3 cargo it will take these next two we're going to get a good spread going two degrees two degrees sounds good range to target this is just calculations on the fly here 1.5 yeah that seems good seven knots angle on bow is about 100 it looks good fire those two okay last two are away and that's it for our torpedoes this u-boat is just being depth charged that is rough that is rough i don't know where our other u-boats are maybe we only had um Maybe we only had one other U-boat in the area, but that's still cool that he's drawing the heat while we make our attack. And now we are going to dive. We are going to dive and get the heck out of here before those enemy destroyers have a, a chance to really respond. Hopefully those torpedoes land home. It is very possible this torpedo we fired at the tanker will end up smacking the C-3 cargo. And it looks like that is exactly what's going to happen, unfortunately. That's okay. That's uh, nothing we can really do about that. There we go. One torpedo hit. It looks like three will end up hitting this target, which is okay. Um, this was our objective, so it's fine that we're actually finishing her completely off. Let's see. Serious damage. One may have been enough. Wow. You may not even need the other two. Oh, looks like the other two are going to uh, find their home here, though. Another impact right in the middle. And another one pretty much where the first torpedo hit. Someone say overkill? That's fine. You know, BDU told me to sink this ship, so that's what I'm going to do. And uh, that thing <laughs> has to be going down. Yeah, I can see her health bar there. She is just... She's done. She's sinking. Hey, we are making our escape here, and this other Type 7C U-boat is now in the area. We're going to have him target... Oh, he's plotting his course there to engage that tanker. That's okay. That's fine. This other U-boat is currently making its escape as well, and we have a leak on board. Uh, please finish that. Okay, it's being repaired. Where's this leak? Oh, it's back here. Okay, we have him going to fix that leak. Wolfgang's fixing it. How long is it going to take you to fix that, pal? I'd rather have an engineer fix it. Let's get uh, let's get another crewman here to kind of help secure this pipe. Okay, slowly working on fixing it. Let's let's start coming up. Oh gosh, turn on the freaking pump. That's a lot more water than I expected. Okay, pump is turn on the pump. Somebody turn on the pump. There we go. He's turned it on. Get this water out. We're we're going. We're rising. We're rising. Okay. Situation is normal. That was just an alarming amount of water. How long do you have on this leak? Still a while. It's not a terrible leak, but unfortunately, this pump being on is going to uh, give away our position, as it is quite loud. This U-boat's maneuvering into position to attack the tanker. This was quite cool. Let's see, how's this U-boat doing? Let's give him an attack order. Actually, actually, it's probably best if he doesn't attack, but we'll see. How's the leak doing? 
Hey, we're still coming up to 150 meters. Leak is over halfway under control. Almost done. There we go. Good job, boys. Perfect. We're going to keep the pump on for just a little bit longer. I want to get a lot of the, as much water out of the control room as we possibly can. The Z boat's working on its uh, attack solution. And we are getting out of here. It looks like this U boat's taking all the heat. Still. We can actually flip to him and see how. Yeah, he's real deep. Probably a good move on his part. It is kind of cool just watching all these other U boats here. And we're just going to make our escape. Uh, a mission accomplished on our part. Hopefully, this Type 7C here will blast this tanker. Oh, there they go. He launched the full salvo. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let's go to this tanker and watch it. We can actually flip to the other sub as well. If I'm, Yeah, here he is, sitting at periscope depth. It looks like he's actually diving. Let's tell him to escape now. And let's go to this tanker. I'm going to pause so we don't miss the, the pretty explosions here. Okay, and we're just going to watch this tanker just take four torpedoes. <laughs> it looked like a pretty good shot on his part. We'll see. There we go. One. And fire is broken out all over her deck. Oh, wow. Secondary there. That's awesome. More, more explosions. Ouch. That's pretty rough. Only one torpedo hit. I'm quite surprised by that. It looked like all four were just going to smack right into this tanker, but I don't know. With a fire like that burning on her deck, I don't think she's lasting long. And yeah, she is. She is definitely feeling it. Are the other torpedoes still running? Yeah, it looks like, looks like she only hit with one torpedo. The other torpedoes are continuing on, and she is now going evasive and trying to get out of here. Looks like this submarine got the short stick and is taking all the heat from the enemy escorts. And that tanker's going down. Awesome. Well, it looks like we are making our escape here. We're still at 150 meters, and we are pretty far from the convoy at this point. They are still just focusing on that other U-boat here, this Type 7C. And this other Type 7C is making her way out as well. Situations under control. Yeah, discipline has been just dropping rapidly. Too much work from officers. Let's go ahead and uh, start managing our crew. Let's take a look at our boat. We still have quite a bit of water built up and other compartments really in the stern here. With that, we need to start getting out our pump spin on. Let's turn that back off. That is draining quite a bit of battery power. And we'll come up, come up to 100 meters. That should help a little bit. Okay, and we're going to unassign a lot of this crew. Not you, though. Okay, make everyone nice and happy. Okay, but looks like we're going to get away scot-free, and now our objective really is just to make it back home to Bergen alive. I am interested to see uh, how these other U-boats do. It looks like we have lost contact on our other friend up here. Hopefully he makes it out alive, but we're going to keep sailing uh, pretty much just straight towards Bergen at this point. And make it back home. Uh, once we've broken contact with the convoy, we'll come up to periscope depth, get all the flooding out and everything, and then surface the boat and head home and shoot off these radio messages as well. Overall, a very successful patrol. We've only been at sea 11 days and we have just caused a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'll cut now and get back to you all soon. The men are getting all the water from the stern compartment and putting them into the control room. We are actually going to turn on our pump now and start getting all of this out. One of our crewmen here is actually, I guess, hurt. I don't know what his issue is. We did have one of them break and Wolfgang went over here and beat him up a little bit. Roughed him over, uh, made him come to his senses. But we are pretty far away from the action at this point, as is this other U-boat. So we're going to continue to break contact, get all this flooding under control, and continue on home. I just wanted to give you that brief little update.
Well, we have arrived home at Bergen at last. After a very, very successful patrol, our journey back home was extremely uneventful. If I'm being honest, we did not detect anything else. The other U-boats did, however, go off and re-engage the convoy. Um, let's go ahead and talk to our commander here and get Wolfgang to discuss it with them. Deeply impressed with your last patrol. Solid work, Captain. I appreciate it. All right, Kurt receives a new decoration, Iron Cross Second Class, as long as well as the Iron Cross First Class. Almost has the German Cross in gold as well. Here we go, Wolfgang receives the Iron Cross Second Class, the Iron Cross First Class, the German Cross in gold, and he's on his way to getting the Knight's Cross here. Awesome, a very good patrol. All right, here is our mission summary. We ended up sinking 54,000 tons of shipping. We got quite a bit of renown and all that good stuff. And we sunk a total of eight enemy freighters. And I guess I guess seven freighters and one tanker down here, which was a 9,000 tonner. Um, I guess we got credit for this, even though the other U-boat uh, uh, destroyed it. But you know what? I will take it. Okay, well, awesome. What are the other orders? What are we doing next patrol? Let's see, something crazy. Join the port of La Rochelle. Oh, okay, that could be interesting, transfer, transferring down here. I actually would not mind doing that uh, instead of patrolling around Bergen. We do get uh, another officer if we do here. Oh, we will see. I will uh, I'll let that idea marinate. But overall, very happy with how this patrol went. I do want to mention that the U-Boat developers actually released a update a few days ago uh, going over the new campaign uh, features that they will be adding in the latest patch. And it all looks very promising, so I'm pretty excited for that. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend checking that out. But... Anyway, that's all I really have for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it as always. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment. It really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.